When it comes to pre-flighting our aircraft, I tell all of our owners that there's really no difference between our aircraft and a, and a regular Cessna 182 in terms of pre-flight, with the exception of two areas. One of them is the nose-mounted canard. Now, of course, this gives us all the slow speed maneuverability, the lower stall speed, uh, improved stall resistance. All the, all the good stuff comes from this nose-mounted canard, so it only makes sense to include it in your pre-flight. Now, when you're pre-flighting the canard surfaces, it's kind of like the horizontal stabilizer and elevator on the tail. You just inspect it for obvious signs of exterior damage, and you just wiggle the elevator, canard elevator, just a little bit. Now, what you'll see is a little bit of movement in the canard elevator. And sometimes people will say, you know, ask, is that normal? And it is, and the reason that, that it is normal is because unlike the elevators on the tail that have cable tension pulling both directions on the elevator, which makes it rigid, the canard elevator is pushrod actuated. So every place you've got a rod end and the pushrod with a bolt going through, there's going to be just a little bit of movement. So consequently, a little bit of movement on the canard elevator is normal. You don't want excessive movement, however. So give, a, give the canard good pre-flight. The other area of, of uh, concern that's different than a stock 182 is, of course, the, the tires. On the cat mice, we normally use bush wheels, and there's two different kinds of bush wheels we use. One is a low-pressure bush wheel that you see on Super Cubs and Huskies a lot. We use about 9 to 11 pounds of pressure in those tires all the way around. Uh, the, the wheels we normally use on most of the cat mice that come out here are a 26 or 29-inch Airhawk tire, and they're a regular rigid aircraft tire. And for work off pavement, I normally have the tire pressure there about 24 psi. Off airport, I drop them to about 17 or 18 psi. The other type of landing gear we have is, is the landing gear on our 260 SEs or cat mice that have the ferret in landing gear. Now, if you've got the standard tires with the speed pants, you really want to keep the tire pressure to 50 psi on there. And of the, the airplanes, when they come back occasionally for service work, that's probably the one thing I see that's just a little bit um, off. I see a lot of airplanes come back here with tire pressure that's too low. And what happens is, if the tire pressure isn't kept up around 50 psi, the tire will sometimes rub on the side of the wheel pan. Now, we get the drag reduction in these wheel pants by closing off the hole in the bottom of the wheel pan, which then smooths the airflow past the bottom, reduces the drag. So consequently, unlike a Cessna wheel pan where you've got a big old hole down there and tire pressure doesn't mean as much, here it does because if you're running with tires underinflated, they squish out and they tend to rub on the side of the wheel pan. So keep your tire pressures up around 50 psi. You'll have no issues with the, with the small gear and the wheel pants. And other than that, it's just a standard 182 inspection. See you next time.